I'm Ted James. My company is Ted James Design Limited. Um, TJD Bikes. I build bikes. I've had the privilege of being asked to work with Reynolds on this new tubing, new tube set that they're making. Um, they've called 921. It's 2169. Um, it's another stainless um, material, which is, it differs from the other two stainlesses they do already, 953 and 931. Um, it's very, very exciting to work on this new project. It's very exciting material to work with. When I got the phone call to ask me um, if I'd be interested in building some test frames with this new material, I was obviously very uh, honoured to be involved on this project. Um, and I had to push some other jobs around to, to make it happen in a very short time. Um, it was a very exciting thing to be involved in. And they asked me to build a few frames, test, test frames, and, uh, and a couple of show frames. So two for EN testing, road frame 29er. Um, and I had to machine some of the parts for it. I machined um, head tubes, bottom bracket shells joint to it there's a few issues um, there with the dissimilar metals we've got around that um, well this material could be suited for a range of different bikes um, but for me it seems especially good and suitable for 29ers or BMX it's be a great tube set for touring bikes we want durability um, you know, lightweight, it's strong enough to make something reasonably lightweight but it'll still be very strong and it's stainless so for touring be be great. 29er Tourer. So this material was very, seemed very interesting for me to work with um, in that it's, it's a stainless tube but it's easier to to work with a 953 dealing with slightly thicker walls um, it's not so hard so it's easier a bit easier on your cutters um, easier on the tooling it's it's an amazingly springy material um, so I'd be really interested to see how it rides I'm quite excited to see how the bike rides um, built with this with this tubing um, I think it would be a very lively feel. I can tell you where, where I think it fits in the Reynolds range. Keith will tell you um, from their perspective. Um, but it's strength wise, it's slightly lower than 853. Be maybe not, not quite as light as an 853 frame. Um, similar to 725. Uh, but it's stainless, um, so it's it's not as high strength as 953 or the 931. But the price is lower than both of those, higher than 853 pr in price. Um, but it's, it's you get stainless. Um, also, it's non-heat treated. Um, it gets its strength from cold working to work hardening which means that it's still easily formable from the builder so that's that's a very exciting thing for me um so obviously there's different kinds of frame builders you've got the the oem builds building mass like quantities of frames and uh, people like myself building smaller quantities or one-offs um, and I think for the big companies, there's going to be benefits with this tubing over a 953 um, or 931 in that it's cheaper. They can build different styles of bikes. You want to build sort of heavy duty mountain bikes, 
or like trekking bikes, things, um, like to tourers, it's quite good material. So you'd generally be using a thick, thicker walls than 953s, but easier to work with. But it's still very strong and it's easy to manipulate still. That's the main advantage for, for custom builders. Is so you want to build, say you want to build a mountain bike, you want lots of tire clearance or uh, 29er for instance, you need to do a lot of shaping on your chain stays, seat stays. You can put those bends into the stays, which with 853 is a heat treated tubing, it's, it's more difficult to do that. This is not heat treated, you can, you know, the builder can just put those bends in themselves. At the moment, um, it's a bit early stages with the testing. I've just built the first um, test frame, test road frame with the 921, which has gone for the EN testing and passed the, the road test, which is very exciting. It's the first time I've had a frame tested to the EN standards. That's with a, a TIG welded with a Nitronic 40 wire. So there's, I'm not sure about the compatibility issues joining that to 953 or 931. Um, that's something Keith will be able to answer. And I think it's probably something that, um, in time will, will be looked into and using different welding wire, um, which might be more easily available. Although Reynolds will be stocking this um, Nitronic 40, I think, or Nitronic 50, not sure. Um, I've not done any brazing with it yet. Um, I'm sure it, it looks like it should be able to fillet raise it, which would mean that it's more easy to, there's less issues with the um, dissimilar metals. Reynolds has been working really hard on this project and getting things ready very quickly. The way they make the material, it seems they can um, sh make many of the butting profiles already available in the other materials, in the in the other carbon steels. So it should be range of tubes available very soon. Um, so I'll be taking orders for frames built with this material straight away. There's no, yeah, there's no reason why it shouldn't work with lugs. The, as, as I said, the tubing should be, they sh should be able to make it in a lot of the butting profiles that they already offer um, on the tube um, stock. So what's already available in butting profiles should be available in this tubing as well. So for lugs, various different sizes and uh, and other butting profiles it's also with um, a lot of the thicker butting profiles like 953 isn't available in some of the stuff suited to BMX or 29ers but this tubing will be you know, available in um, in suitable butting profiles for BMX 29ers it's because it's stainless it should be able to be finished in the same way that a 953 or 931 frame is. It could be polished or be blasted and left raw. Uh, this is 2169 um, stainless. I think Reynolds have been looking into it for quite some time. Back last summer I was building the stainless 953 curved 29er that I had at the last Bristol show. When I was building that, I wanted long plane gauge lengths to do the, the seat stays to come through and looking at um, tubing I could use for the integrated seat mast. And I couldn't get long plane gauge lengths of a high grade stainless, like high strength stainless tubing. I was looking around and found 2169 uh, material made in the States looked like a really good material to use. I asked, phoned Keith and I said I found this looking at this material do you think it's compatible to to join to your 953 and um, he said he was aware of the material but didn't didn't say much about it I didn't think much at the time but I think 
he was already looking into it as as a material for for them to be using as a new new tubing 